Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Friday. Joining us today is Allie Stoddard with the Binder Park Zoo down in Battle Creek. And she's here to talk about the, one of the zoo's most popular and most look forward to summer events, the Cheetah Chase 5K. It returns this weekend, and we're very excited to learn a little bit more about this year's edition of it. Allie, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Of course. And, you know, this is, of course, the 15th rendition of this race. It took a little time off during co the pandemic, obviously, but uh, this is a pretty popular event. It keeps coming back. What do you think makes it so popular and, you know, gives the, the zoo really reason to keep bringing it back for people? I think it's just a great race. I mean, you get to run through the zoo. It's got a variety of um, different surfaces that you're going to run through. You're going to go by different exhibits and habitats while you're here, get to see um, giraffes, zebras, cheetahs, um, just getting to run through the zoo makes it a truly unique event. Mm -hmm. Right now, and you mentioned that one of the big appeals, of course, is getting to run through the actual zoo itself and seeing the animals while you're running, maybe give you a little bit of motivation there. What are some of the exhibits? You mentioned a few of them, named off a few of them, but what are some of the other exhibits for animal lovers that are participating in that they can sort of expect to see? Yeah, so the course starts out outside the zoo and then you get to run through. You'll go through the East Zoo a little bit, run past um, some of our kangaroo exhibits and that sort of thing. And then you'll go past our new Skylark Ridge. You'll head up to Africa ver through our tram road where you get to run by the giraffe, the zebra addicts on our savanna exhibit. You'll get to run by um, the cheetahs, past the lions, and then over um, back down our tram road and then back out the zoo. So. Um, you really do get to experience the zoo differently at a very fast pace. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. And uh, Ali, you know, kind of switching over a little bit, specifically with a lot of these 5K races, some of the more intriguing parts of it are what happens after the race is done and sort of the perks that you get. I know that the zoo is offering everybody free admission all day long to the zoo for those who do get to compete. And also Bell's Brewery is also in the mix to offer some perks. Can you go into a little bit more about that? Yeah, Bell's Brewery is our premier beverage sponsor. So everybody that um, runs the race, if they are of age, um, will get their first Bell's um, brew free um, with their bib. And then those that aren't of age, we have an under or a non-alcoholic or for those that don't want to um, have a non-alcoholic option as well that they get um, as soon as they complete the race. And then like you said, they get free admission into the zoo um, with that bib as well. Mm -hmm. You really spend the entire day at the zoo following this race. It does kick off at 8 a.m. Allie, though, you know, you've been, we were talking a little bit before this uh, stream actually started, just kind of about your own experience with the Cheetah Chase. And this will actually be your second official race that you are uh, being a part of. And I would just love to hear, you know, from your own personal experience, what, what do you love about the Cheetah Chase? What really are you most looking forward to come on Saturday? I just love seeing everybody come together and work towards cheetah conservation um, and getting to see those faces as they run through the zoo. Um, it's just really exciting. It's just a great atmosphere around here. Um, we've got a bunch of different age groups, so it's nice to see some kids as young as you know five, six years old run the race, but some um, people run the race that are older than 70. So it's pretty exciting to see um, just that mix of people come in um, and run that race and kind of experience it differently than they would in just a normal day at the zoo. Mm -hmm. And of course, Allie, you know, we thank you so much for stopping by, but typically with these streams, we like to end it uh, with you uh, making your final pitch out to people, trying to get as many people to come out to the Cheetah Chase this weekend. So we're going to turn the floor over to you now. Why should people head on down to Binder Park Zoo this Saturday for the Cheetah Chase? Yeah, come on out and join our Cheetah Chase. It is one of the most unique races in the state. Um, we do still have spots open that you can register today or tomorrow at the race, um, and we'd love to have you join us. It's a, a thrilling event, um, plus you get to experience the zoo at a fast pace and then go and enjoy it with your family after that. So it's a fun day. Mm -hmm. and, and weather's going to look great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's the best part about it. And as yeah. Ali mentioned, there are still spots available, and you can register online for the Cheetah Chase right now simply by heading on over to our website, woodtv.com. We've got all the information there for you right there right now. And if you are watching us on Facebook, you can find a link to that story and uh, help out that process a little quicker right now. It's in the description box or in the comments section. Ali, once again, thank you so much for stopping by the live desk today. We really do appreciate it. 
Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Pinarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.